hi guys welcome back to my channel it's G from happiness and crafting so we are going to be finishing our lovely journal today so if you followed yesterday this is what we made I'll pop a link to the video um, underneath so today I'm going to be adding which I have here the lovely little fussy cut flowers on here now I'm just going to add them to the um, music paper pages so I've added just two just to see what they look like and I'm just going to pop them down on the bottom because I think that looks really nice because this is just a journal sort of like to write in and I thought they look sort of like the music paper bits if you wanted to sort of like stick a picture or something on there or just clip something onto it you can and then you've got lots of lovely journaling room um so it's just sort of like quite a basic journal but I'm loving it loving this lace in here um I think that looks really really pretty so and the other thing I'm doing is making just some little um page tabs now I've got these and I'm going to just add them to the music paper again so I'm not adding anything to the um, tea stain, coffee stain paper. So I'm just making these and I'm just going to push them on. I can't have them sticking out too far because this is quite a tight journal. Because I've used the envelope for the outside, there's not a huge amount of room um, and everything will sort of like stick out and then we won't be able to sort of like tighten it or get squashed. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to just show you how I made these first really super simple because we do like simple things as well don't we so i've taken a little bit of the music paper now this is the smaller one so this is the one which is just the doubled over one i've just taken sort of like a little slice it's like two inches here or five centimeters and it's about one and a half i think it's just one and a quarter um, or three and a half centimeters so they're not huge um, but they're really nice size and what I have done I've taken the lace that we had which we popped on the front of the journal I've taken my glue and then I've just popped a little bit of glue down like that popped this little bit of lace over the top just like that and then I've just cut it off so I've just cut it it's really simple I just cut the lace the same um, width as the little tabs like that and then I've taken a piece of this lovely lace as well and all as I've done I've popped that across because I've sewn around the edge on these popped that across and cut that down now, I'm not sure whether the glue from under there will hold that, just so I um, sew it. So you can see here, I've just sewn around the outside just to keep that lace on. So they're really simple. I've done all of those, so I've just got another two to do because we need ten. Because I put them onto just the music paper. So we need ten of these. So I'm just going to stick a little bit of this down. Pop that in the pot a minute pop that on like that cut that off super simple this one so whatever however you're sort of like or what sort of like lacy bits or fabric or papers that you're using in your journal because this one's quite basic um, pop onto your little page tabs um, because then it will sort of like tie all your sort of like journaly bits together um, so you don't need a lot I haven't used a huge amount of different things in this journal at all because sometimes it can get quite overwhelming like my lovely um, folks of the forest journal I'm doing a lot in that one um, so that's why it's taking a lot longer to do so I'm coming back and forth to that but something like this just pick a few elements if you want to do something a little bit quicker um, just pick a few elements um, and then you can get it done quite quickly because you can just put the little bits around the journal if you know what I mean so those two or those three I've just done so I'll sew those in a minute I won't sew those yet so how I want to stick them on let's just 
simple. But I'm just take one. I'm going to pop some glue on. I'm just using my three in one because this is dries quicker um, and it sticks really well. Like that. So just use what glue that you normally use as well. Pop that on and I'm just going to take this and I'm going to stick it right on there. Stick that down. Now if you've got a little bit more room on the side you can have these sticking out a little bit more but I don't think I need to. You can just about see the lovely little bit of lace popping out there but when you open it up I just love that page. I think it looks really really nice. So let's just do another one. Pop these on like this. I've just done them all the same. Now, you don't have to do all your little page tabs the same. Now, shall I? What I could do, let's just take the cover off. What I need to do, really, before I stuck the glue on that, is to see if we could just go all the way down. So we want 10 of these. So how big? I could probably do it on this page. So that's one, two, three four, five, six, seven. So I want to just come over and then we can go back up again. So if I put this, I hope that's not dry, you know what I mean. So it just comes to about there, like that. So when you come down, can you see there's just like a little um, staggered that's the word I was looking for. They're staggered a little bit because we don't want them all in the same place, do we? So that can go on there. Let's take this one, pop that out there, I think. Now I need to make sure my music paper is all up the right way as well. lovely next one like that nice blob of glue let's see where that is just stagger it there oh I did colour um, oh, what should we do on these ones that's the middle one I did colour another bit of lace, which I'll show you in a minute. Make sure I'm in the right place. Let's just pop a little bit of glue on here. So this is the middle page. Where are we? That's a little bit here. I should go about there. So this is the middle bit, look, lovely. You might have some already made um, little tabs in kits that you might have that you could add on to the here. So I'm going to stick that one there. Let's do, where's the other piece? Take this one and then I'm going to have to just quickly go and sew the last three. And then I will show you what else I am going to do. So this one, make sure these are level. So this one can go there like that at the bottom. So look, can you just see they look really nice, don't they? And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to start from the top again and then just come down for the last three. So let me just quickly, I'm just gonna quickly go and just sew around, just around the outside of these, so it'll be two seconds. Okay, so there we go. Super simple. Let's just um, make sure we're on the right one. Let's just stick these in quickly, make sure we are around the right way. Pop a little bit of glue on here. at the 
top like that. Next one, fold in half. Look, I've got my little pot to put this in so I can keep it upside down. Got a tiny little pate pot. There we go. Let's have a look. We'll go on to this one. Let's make sure our pages are level. Pop this one right there. Perfect. And then the last one. And then what I've done, I've sorted out some of the fussy cut flowers. So we want 10, 10 fussy cut flowers. Um, and I've picked out the sort of colours that I thought would go with the journal. Oopsie daisy. Which are sort of like more of the pinkier colours. So where should we have you? We just pop you like that. Perfect. Love it. So that adds a little bit of texture, doesn't it, to the pages, which looks lovely. Now, again, you could add bits of ribbon or anything or bits of lace down onto your um, just your tea stain paper or coffee stain paper. But I'm going to leave that. Just going to leave that. Let's pop the lid on there for a minute. And then, look, I've just picked out sort of like the pinkier ones, the pinkier tones on here. Because these ones are more sort of like blues and reds. So I thought these ones were the colours that would probably do best in here. So I've already stuck this one on. And I've got this one on here. I'm going to stick this. I'm not sure what to do with the middle page, though. Whether I shall make a little pocket. Let's have a look because I need to put two on here. Whether I'm going to put, make it into sort of like a little tuck spot. Are those the two biggest ones I've got? Should I put those two on? I quite like that one. Right, those can go in there. I might make little pockets with those. So what I'm going to do is just going to take them this way up or this way up. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't think it really matters, does it? Let's just stick them on. I'm going to use um, tacky glue on here because it's just sort of like paper to paper on here. I'm just going to stick that down. Just looks lovely. I love just a nice simple flower on the bottom look at that looks beautiful isn't it now i've printed on the back as well of these so don't forget the papers that you don't want to use don't throw them away or anything print on the other side because that's what i've done i've just recycled some of my papers and you're not going to know at all so that's that one, that's the inside. So let me just leave that one for a minute. I'm going to take one of these and just pop you on there. Stick you down. So when you do a journal, you don't have to have lots and lots of things in there. Sometimes it's quite nice to be go back to sort of like the basic bits, which I'm quite liking at the moment. I've got another video coming out <clears throat> tomorrow, which is um, good for beginners. So it's sort of like simple, quick, simple, um, back to basic ideas that you can have. Um, so if you don't have a huge amount of products, um, then I'm just trying to show you that you don't need a lot. Because um, when I first started out, I didn't have very much at all. Not at all, but I wanted to craft, so I had to sort of like make things myself and use what I had. So that's what I want to show you, that you don't need lots and lots of products. 
I've gathered loads and loads of bits and pieces up obviously over the years because I've been doing it for many many years now but I want to show you I want to go back to basics because sometimes we do forget we forget we want to do all of these um, quite intricate and time um, time taking up that doesn't make sense does it lots of um, things which it's great which I love to do but sometimes we have days when um, we just want to do basic things simple easy crafting love that I just love that now how simple was that cut them out and just pop them onto the pages and just looks lovely I am loving this so fabulous that is pretty much the inside of our lovely book of our journal love it so oh no I'm not I forgot to do the middle didn't I silly Billy silly Billy right what should we do should we put these on pockets let's have a look because we've got the um actually folded one in half shall I make a little I want a bit of a maybe like a little pocket on here or should we have that just to tuck something in I don't think that's going to be big enough though is it oh decisions I might just put, I'm going to cut this I'm just going to tear this down let me put that to the side right that was a bit right I'm going to take my cutter I only want a little bit of this that's not my cutter is it there we go let's take this let's do this side first now what shall we do Shall we have it so it comes off a little bit and just use this as a pocket? I think that's what I will do. Because it can't be too big, can it? I'm going to just have it just to there, I think. So this comes over the top. So if I just cut this piece off like this and stick that on, let me just ink this a little bit just around here. going to sit there so I will just stick that on and then what we can do I'm thinking I'm going to just cut that because tearing that was a bit of a mistake wasn't it just wondering if I fold this in half we can have like a sit in that pocket because it'll be quite nice because this is a long journal it'll be nice to have like a long one to go inside of the pocket a long sort of that looks nice doesn't it so we've got something in the middle to journal on like that so we need two of these will that fit on there because we've got that on there now haven't we unless I have a corner pocket on this one okay that goes with that let's not muddle ourselves up we could pop this like that and we can have just a corner one couldn't we let's do that is that the right width like that let's 
just find the middle bit. That could go on there and then we can sit that on top and then we've got a little pocket there. Lovely. Do you think that would fit in there? Could have another one of these, couldn't we? The other side. Love it. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Let's pop this to the side. Don't need these little pieces. They can go in my little scrap pile. Let's add a little bit of ink around here. I'm going to stick this on first, I think. I'm not going to pop anything underneath it. I've got to be careful because we have to sew in our signature as well on here. I'm going to ink this little bit. Just so we've got a little line down here. Oh, that's better isn't it let's do this side first oh I do like that what I'm going to do I'm going to just mark where's that pencil oopsie daisy here goes my yogurt pots just going to mark that off like that so that we know where to glue and we're not going to have glue everywhere. There we go. It's quite low down, wasn't it? What do you think? Does that look nice? It's about right, isn't it? Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'll stick that like that. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit on here. simple little pocket. So this as well will just fit in there like that. So that's our middle bit. So if you want to stick anything in you can. I'm going to pop this on there the same and have that sticking out. Should we have them in the middle? I think I'll just pop them in the middle. Perfect. Oops. Look at that. Lovely. could probably sew down there just to give it sort of like a little before you stick it on give it a little bit of um, looks like it's been sewn to the page but I've stuck it down now so that's okay let's pop you on there so we level make sure you're level with the same there because this is in the middle so you these two are going to be together so that's how they would go like that Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? I like that. Let's pop the lid on there. Pop this back into our journal. Pick these bits. We don't need these bits. So that's lovely. Isn't it? Perfect. So I'm going to do... Look at that. I love it. Love it. Now, I was actually thinking about, let's take this out, the front cover as well. Oh, I coloured this. This is what I showed you in the last video. I was going to use this in there. 
but I didn't like it white so I've coloured it now one of you lovely ladies I can't remember who it is now but I'll pop the link on the on the thing one of you said about I should have coloured my ribbon love and light love and light is that you I think it might be it's on the tip of my tongue we shall see um with the muted gray this is what color it came out so i tried it it came out a lot purplier look so it came out which is a lovely color um so what i did i added a little bit of the muted gray to the mixture that i made yesterday and it came out quite a nice color this is a little bit too purpley it's not quite the right color um but it looks lovely on here so this is part of a sort of doily so I just thought this sort of like corner bit would be quite nice popped onto here I want to I'm not sure whether I should take that off and then redo it but I think it's gonna rip rip that paper off so I won't so I was gonna pop that on there and then we stick the flower in the middle which I think would look quite nice wouldn't it and then I think what I'm going to do with this instead of wrapping it all the way around the back I'm just going to take it from the back take it to the back and tie it down the side so this is the, the middle because that's it's going to be too fiddly to keep sort of like wrapping it around so I thought we could just tie it here and then the flower will go on there like that I might have to cut this a little bit shorter so I think what I will do now let's just get this because as this is going to be everywhere I'm going to stick this on here like that can you see and then this so this is going to be the lovely front of the journal I think that will look really pretty won't it so what I need to do should I stick it then cut it or cut it then stick it? I need my other scissors, I think they're a little bit sharper. Let's just take that like that. I'm going to cut that bit afterwards because this flips up. Now, I'm not going to sew, obviously, I'm not going to sew any of this on. I'm just going to stick this down here with my glue. Let's just pop this on here. Just make sure that's stuck down nicely. And you just stick under these little these big bits like that. Stick that down. Didn't turn this upside down. There we go. want it to flap about too much and let's just open this out like this just that we can glue down this edge lovely turn my bottle upside down shall we just cut this little bit off looks nice let's do this way that looks good doesn't it now I think I might have to just glue this completely so it doesn't rip off look at that let me see I've got my little things that we cut out I'm going to glue this down I'm not going to take this off I'm going to glue this down a little bit more I think Glue that down. How are we doing for time? Oh, we've got loads of time. 
pop that on there, stick that down. So, shall I? Do you think these would look quite nice on there? Just to add a little bit more. Oh, that looks nice. Doesn't that look nice? Let's I put another little bit under there. I don't think it needs it, does it? That looks quite nice though, doesn't it? But I think I only... Hmm. Right, I'm going to stick this down because I like this one on here. This one, oops, gluey fingers. Can stick there, and then we'll pop this one on here. actually use my glue gun to stick this one on. I'm going to stick this on when I've sewn in the signature so it's not so bulky but doesn't that look lovely? <gasps> I love it. And then these will just come round the side and tie down here. That's better isn't it? Beautiful. I do like that. What about this little bit? Is I going to pop another little bit there? No, I don't think I will. I don't think it really needs it. But I do like that. Okay, guys, so this is nearly done now. We just need to sew in the signature. Make sure we take this out of the way. I'm going to... Because I don't want to fold that up. I'm going to have to sort of like... I've got one of my little pegs. I'm going to peg that on there so I don't sew everything to everything else. Okay, this is lovely, isn't it? Let's just Okay, so I'm going to... Now this isn't going to be easy to sew in because this is quite thick, isn't it? So let me just get my little clips my handy little clips which I love let's just make sure these are all together properly clip that one on there oops clip that one on there This one, and then one up here. Okay. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Make sure up the right way. Now I'm going to just go and get my bits and pieces to sew it in. So I will be two seconds. Okay, so I've got my needle and thread here, which I've got some wax thread on there. I've got my little book to use so I can just make holes to sew in the signature. So let's just make sure we are up the right way in here properly. Pop that in. Now I'm going to, what I would like to do is try and get the middle bit sort of in the middle here. So we want to sort of like come up so we want to be the sort of like middle there, don't we? Let's pop that in. Shall I clip that to there so we don't move? Put like clips away. Let's just pop a clip in there. Oops, not to my book. There we are. Okay, so we need to be about there. Where's 
my goal. Let's just pop that in there like that. So that's pretty much the middle, isn't it? So that can go through. And then do with it being about there. So that's going to be almost at the top of there. So we want it to be about there, just so they look a little bit even. Okay. Let's see. So we've got there, there and there. So it's sort of like in between this little flappy bit. Pop that to the side. Let's see if we can do this without making ourselves go dizzy. It goes through. I'm going to just make sure I've got that hole. the hole on this one hmm let's see that's the hole there let's push this through oh god look see i've just come out and made another hole there we go that goes through there and then we need to come up through the middle let's see how easy this is going to be let's pull that thread to the side Gonna go through easily for me? No, of course not. Let's go. Let's find it. There we are. There we go. Let's pop that to the side. Let's just take our little clips out. That one fall off. Lovely. That goes in there like that. Now, do we want this? Don't really want it dingly dangling out, but we will pull that quite tight. That looks nice and neat. Okay, sorry, my camera goes a bit funny sometimes. So, what was I doing? I think I'm not sure whether I was going to cover this spine up with something, but it's not too bad, is it? Let's just tie this up nice and tight. Like that. Perfect. Yeah, I don't think I will pop anything on those, but I will leave those like that. Oh, I do love it. Lovely, isn't it? Right, let's stick a little bit of glue down on there. So now I'm going to stick my beautiful little rose on there. Let's tie this up. So first, I think. Let's see how much we need. Shall I leave it nice and long? It's quite nice having that nice long bit on there, isn't it? And I'm just going to get a blob of my glue and stick that on the front. Okay. Let's see if I've got enough glue in here. No. Where's my glue sticks gone? Can you believe I've lost my glue sticks? I will do. That's going to stick it on. It's not majorly heavy, is it? Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Really, really lovely journal. 
I love that so let me just finish off a little bit on the inside because also what I want to do is when we open that up I want to pop something in there so I was just thinking of making like a little letter let's just pop those to the side so I just rip this down here I think this will fit, won't it? Will it fit this way? And three. Yes, that's what I'll do. Let's just fold this in three. Like that. Perfect. And then I can use the other bit to go in the middle. Just ink this just along those edges. Perfect. Let's pop that to the side. Look at that. That looks really nice, doesn't it? Take this, open that up, and I think I'll just pop it in like that. So perfect. And then we want to just pop something because all of these are lovely look at that I just love it I'm going to find the middle let's just pop something what did I do with that other piece that was that one piece and then I can use this one for the other side so these have come in really handy as little letters I didn't think to use them as letters like that that fits perfect, doesn't it? Now I need to just ink it just a little bit. Just the last little finishing touch, isn't it? Nice and simple. So this was a pretty simple journal, I think. So let's just pop that in there. Just give this a little ink around, like that. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And that sits in there. And then that's just a little bit of extra writing space. And then we can just do it up so there we go guys that is our beautiful tall slim journal which i think is lovely i think i'm loving how it's turned out so in the end shall i measure it this is beautiful love that looks nice and shabby shabby and vintage doesn't it so we have got we have got 12 we have got 13 inches, which is, what's that, 30, 32 centimetres by four and a half or 11 um, centimetres. So that's quite nice and it does about three centimetres or about one and a half inches wide. But I just think it is beautiful. Love it absolutely love it and I'm liking actually this although you can't see a huge amount of it I think this looks really nice on the back sandwiched in between the music paper I think it's really really nice so there we go guys so all I've used is a, some lace some music paper an envelope um, my fussy cut flowers that I've used and some seam binding so there's not a huge amount and obviously some tea stain coffee stain paper so if you get some little bits together you don't have to have a huge amount to make a journal um, it's just sort of like um, trying to stick to a few items and then it's not so overwhelming is it to make but loving this I hope you did too um, so thank you so so much for joining me have a fantastic rest of the day and I will see you all soon. All right, guys. Bye-bye.